Leanne Malixi this to win the U.S. Women's Amateur Championship. The yes. magical summer continues for Malixi. She's a champion at Southern Hills. Six birdies this afternoon. How about four in a row to close this championship out? representing the Philippines quite well. Uh, we saw Princess Mary Superall in 2014 win the girls junior. Mom, oh my gosh, Michelle, so proud of her daughter. Thank you. She's a special talent, Kay. She is. I mean, things did not start out the way she wanted them this, this uh, early this afternoon. <laughs> things could not have ended any better. It takes a lot of love and support from your parents to follow embark on this grand path of, of winning championships. Malixi, a winner, three and two over Astra's tally, who's down with Julia. Astra, I know this is not how you wanted this day to end, but how proud are you of yourself to make it all the way here after seven grueling days of this tournament? Yeah, I mean, I played a lot of golf this summer. I played well through the very end, and um, I mean, it just didn't end how I wanted. I didn't play good enough today to win. I didn't hit in as many fairways and greens as I wanted. I mean, that's, I knew that was what it was going to come down to, and I just didn't, didn't play very well. Making it to this point, how will you use this to your advantage moving forward in your career, the confidence you gained to know that you made it to this point and you can beat the best players in the world? Yeah, I mean, it's going to give me a lot of confidence, but um, I mean, I'm just going to keep trying to play good golf like I did this week and just try and do my best. Well, you're a USGA championship champion. You're 15 and two in match play. Moving forward, you have to use that to your advantage and know that you you have the game to compete at the highest level, right? Yeah, I mean, it just didn't end up how I wanted. I mean, I still played pretty well this week, and I just have to take that with me everywhere I go. You played great. Congratulations on making it to this point. Similar scene we saw in El Cap. Emotions, understandably so. That 15 and two record. The only hurdle for Tally this year has been trying to beat Brianne Malixi. Brianne will. She's relentless with her consistency, and she brought it up a notch since she made the turn. I mean, she did lose the 11 hole, but then. 13, 14, 15, 16, just said, I want this championship. She seized the trophy in that stretch. And hats off to Asterisk. It is Thank you to the Southern Hills Country Club and all the volunteers for such a phenomenal championship. On behalf of the USGA, I congratulate both Rianne Malixi and Asterisk Tally on a well-played match. It is our pleasure to present a gold medal and the trophy to the champion of the 124th U.S. Women's Amateur, to Rianne Malixi. Like you got some momentum today. Um, 
it's somewhere around the back nine. Um, I don't remember, but I was, I think I made a couple of mistakes and then I made a couple of thoughts and I can't remember because everything just came in so quickly and I think it started on the part 513 where I made a birdie um, and yeah, I just got the momentum back. A couple of thoughts that hit the flag stick, including that incredible bunker shot. You are the fourth woman to win two USGA championships in the same year. What is the most meaningful part of that accomplishment? I mean, just competing and just handling the pressure during that tournament week. I mean, it means a lot to be a two-time USGA champ, so it's huge for me. Next year, you will be exempt because of this win into the U.S. Women's Open, which we, which will be held at Aaron Hills next year. What is the most exciting part about competing alongside some of the best women in the world? I mean, that's amazing. Just competing and just being inside the ropes in a major USG event is really an honor, honor for me, so it means a lot. Your dad is an instrumental part in your golf game. You spoke with him this morning. What did he tell you before you teed off today? Um, he just told me to be very patient and just try to t t uh, play steady golf, which I kind of did today. And then he was like, yeah, putting is key today. And then when I was like warming up, none of my putts were dropping. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to calm down the locker room. And then, yeah, it helped a lot. In the locker room, what did you tell yourself to then calm down and have such an incredible performance this afternoon? Um, I kept on praying to God. Um, I know that he will be with me um, through adversity. Um, and I just told myself, you know, just keep on hitting targets. Um, some of them will drop eventually. Just keep grinding and be patient out there. Well, congratulations, Rian. You are a deserving champion. Thank you. Deserving might be an understatement, a perfect 12-0 in 2024 in USGA Championship match play, okay? She showed a lot of resolve. You, you don't win this championship with having a, a few blips and dealing with some poor